Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Bart Samberly Show. It's been a very long five months. We're just going to get right into it. Um, today, I'm going to figure out if I'm gay or not. A lot of people are questioning their gender identity, and I feel like maybe I should too. What if I don't know if there's if I'm just a, 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 a woman trapped inside a man's body? Like I've heard that before, and it was like, huh. That's really interesting. I wonder if that's true. So, I'm going to see if I'm gay. You know, I don't even really know where to start. How do I find out online if I'm gay? Maybe I should just try gay test. Oh, interesting. This should be interesting. Are you gay for men only? Uh, when it comes to a gay relationship, there is always the man and the other... The man and the other who takes up the female... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. When it comes to the gay relationship, there is always the man and the other who takes up the female role. Huh? Do you think you have a high chance of being gay? The quiz below is designed to see how high your gay radar is. All the best and have fun. What in the world? So you're admitting that... That it's not natural? <laughs> you may get gay. You are most certainly gay. You should engage in a gay act to allow your inner beast. Oh, oh, you. And the other answer is not gay. You are not gay. But maybe you are just one personality click away from being gay? What does that even mean? All right, here we go. I'm about to find out if I'm gay. Do you prefer a sausage or a bun when eating a hot dog? I don't normally eat hot dog buns anymore. So, just the sausage. When sleeping on a bunk bed, do you prefer to be on top or on the bottom? So, I feel safer <laughs> on the bottom bunk. So, I would say bottom. Do you want to have washboard abs like this dude? There's no dude. Um, do I want abs? No, because I already have them, obviously. What's your problem? So, no. Oh. 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 Okay, we're going to try a different one. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Quiz. Question one. How often do you find yourself associated with people of the opposite gender as you? Just associated um, very often. Do you feel attracted to boys and girls? You have a family member or a friend who is LGBTQ+. No. Are you homophobic? <laughs> Why would they have this question on an LGBTQ plus test? Okay, hold on. Homophobia encompasses a range of negative attitudes and feelings towards homosexuality or people who are identified or perceived as being lesbian, gay, or bisexual. It has been defined as contempt, prejudice, aversion, hatred, or antipathy, may be based on irrational fear, and may also be related to religious beliefs. Well, the answer is no. Do I have contempt, prejudice, aversion, or hatred towards people who are homosexual? No. No. That's not, that's, that's not Christian. Do you feel like the same gendered people as you are attracted to you? Have I ever really experienced that? I don't think I have. Uh, oh, this is personal. Would you want to have sex with or kiss the same gender as you? Well, first of all, logistically, that wouldn't work. No. I don't have any desire for that whatsoever. Uh, do you feel like you want to be like the opposite gender? Do I feel like I want to be like women? <laughs> no offense to y'all, but no. Do you surround yourself with a gay supporting community? <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> it just sounds so weird. <laughs> Uh, they don't even know. We don't even know if I'm gay or not yet. So why would I have a... Okay, so, um, no. 
No, the answer is no. Do you stand for gay rights? Ah, uh, man. You guys are getting political here. If when you say gay rights, you're referring to gay people having the same right as people who are biologically that gender that they're trying to be, then no, absolutely not. Are you harassed by being called gay or any other LGBTQ plus words? Does not affect your results. Have I ever been called gay? Um, no, probably because I don't really look like I'm gay. Not at all. That's never happened. Submit my answers and we're going to find out if I'm gay or not. <laughs> Yay! Hallelujah! Your score is 13%. You are straight. You are not part of the LGBTQ plus community. Make sure not to hate on LGBTQ plus as they have feelings too. Interesting. Okay, so we established that I am not indeed gay, which is great. I was getting, getting kind of worried there. I want to be talking a little bit more about this whole movement and how dangerous and pathetic it's become, while also remembering to, to stress on the truth of the gospel and how these people need Jesus, just like I do, right? So I don't necessarily fault anybody who is genuinely struggling with gender identity because um, way back before all of this was so popular, uh, gender identity used to be considered a mental disorder that deserved treatment. And now it's celebrated, you know, and we're starting to talk about kids in schools, young kids who have questions about their gender talking to their teachers and the teachers not giving that information to the kids' parents. That, my friends, is stupid. If you're watching this and you associate with the LGBTQ community, if you support that, um, I don't hate you. I don't. I hate what you do. If you are genuinely questioning, then what you deserve is a place to have those questions answered, which would be a literally a licensed therapist who is conservative enough to help you walk through those questions so that on the other side of it, you don't have to ask questions anymore. You can freely be the person that God created you to be, whether that's male or female. And this culture has created a whole spectrum right in between. I'd like to keep speaking out on these, these, these subjects that I, I'm passionate about. And that I have finally, after all these years of, of being raised pretty sheltered, um, I've been informed enough and exposed enough that I have an opinion on, on this stuff. More to be talked about in the videos ahead. Make sure to like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about, about what I said, whether you agree with it or disagree with it. Or if there's something that I missed that was a very important point, especially as Christians... Uh, dealing with, with this kind of community. Um, let me know. Other than all that, I suppose I will be seeing you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Okay, now, before you go, you probably have some questions. I filmed what you just saw a couple weeks ago. For a reason, I wanted to sit on it and see if there was any way I could better express what I'm trying to say. And I thought of a couple things, just a couple clarifiers. For all y'all that saw my video and are like, oh, first of all, the whole test thing was just was was, was just a joke, right? I, I have never once doubted my masculinity. That was never an issue. It's just kind of a poke at how stupid it is to go in and take a gay test, right? I mean, everyone's doing it. So that was the whole reason for the gay test, okay? There was a question of, are you homophobic? And I went and looked it up just so I know what it means and responded, no, I'm not homophobic because I do not hate the LGBTQ plus community. That's ridiculous. I, you, you, don't, you don't hate on people, okay? You can hate what they do. I hate the... 
ideologies. I hate the practices. I hate the mindsets. I hate everything about it. But do I hate the people? No. That's a big no-no, okay? So just extra, 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 extra sure to clarify that, okay? So I'm not homophobic, and some people are, you know? I'm not excusing the people that are genuinely homophobic. I do not hate LGBTQ plus people. If I come across as being strong about the practices of homosexuality, it is because of the sin itself. We'll get to that in a second. Not because I'm just trying to badger down on the person. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. Good. So we're moving on. Now, there was also a gay rights question. Okay? A man pretending to, pretending to be a woman who says that he is truly a woman and he's doing all the transitioning and everything. You know what? Whatever, dude. You just... I don't hate you. What you're doing is a total abomination, but I don't hate you. Now, if he goes and tries to, say, um, go into a women's locker room, right, or try to compete in women's sports, then no. No, 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 no. Why would you? No. Because if you are pretending to be a gender that you're not and trying to gain access to the same right that that gender has, that's an insult. That's just plain selfish. Why would you, if you're, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Okay, that, that is the, so I'm just trying to flesh out the gay rights question because I didn't answer it fully and I want to answer it fully by saying, if you're talking basic rights, right? You know, uh, workplace, um, schooling, voting, traveling, you know, basic human rights. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're gay, if you're lesbian, if you're black, if you're white, if you're a human being, you deserve the access to the rights that we have as human beings. But once you start crossing gender specific lines, then I have a serious problem with what you're doing. And I'm not the only one. I'd like to talk about what I said about needing therapy, okay? I did not mean that as a, as, as a condescending um, jab at, at those of you or those of people you know who actually struggle with gender dysphoria. Because gender dysphoria can be caused by things like... Um, abusive sexual history, right? When you have an abusive sexual history of any kind that leads you to have a very negative view of the gender that you are, I get it. Okay, I don't get it in the sense that I understand what that's like. I get it in the sense that I don't blame you. (laughs) I don't blame you for asking questions and, 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 being confused in your head with with where gender roles are and what they're supposed to do and everything, okay? I don't fault you for that, okay? I'm so I'm so sorry for that. I've been I have a traumatic history of a whole nother type. It has nothing to do with sexual abuse, but I, I understand the effects that trauma has. So I get it. Okay? I get it. I can't stress that enough. However, and this is what I've been learning in my own world of traumatic past and working through all the history, we cannot use trauma as an excuse to get whatever we want, okay? And that's, that's becoming a mindset with trauma for everybody is, well, I'm this way because I have trauma. And, and, and we stop there. We don't start to take steps to work through the trauma and discover how the trauma and the pain and those experiences can actually help us, right? Can actually point us in a better direction. All the trauma that I've experienced, I am, as I am working through it and processing it, as I grow, I'm becoming a better person for it. You, you, you don't, 
something doesn't happen to you, right, that creates that traumatic wound in your mind, in your memory, and then you, you can't just sit there. It's not healthy. But these people who suffer from gender dysphoria because of trauma, they just sit there. You guys, you, you can't do that. You guys, you could become so much better. Am I, am, am I, am I wrong? And, and, and there is a truth to trauma can bring out a quality in you that you didn't have before. Well, yeah, if the quality makes common sense. Like, I'm sorry, but trauma, no trauma is powerful enough to change your gender. I'm sorry, but the science don't work. Okay, so we're moving on from that. I guess that's a good segue into another point that's just not, I didn't really talk about this in the video. I just like to stress on it at this point. Common sense, right? And this, I don't even need to flesh this out. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to. If you were born with a dick, no, I shouldn't have to flesh this out. If you were born a dude, why would that just change? If you were born a girl, why would that change? It, 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 it's not, it doesn't biologically make any sense. You can't, if, if it were truly natural, then some people would just, they'd, they'd be born as a boy or a girl. And over the course of time, like when they hit puberty, for example, their, their, their body form would just start to morph and shift and their genitals would change and their, their, their features and their whatever private parts they have would just kind of change and it would be a natural thing. When have we ever seen that happen? When have we ever seen a natural transition of a, a male to a female or a female to a male? In the entire history of human life, that's never happened. So if it's not natural, if it's not biologically possible for that to naturally happen, then why are we forcing it to happen? Because we feel a certain way. And since, since when did our feelings become to be the things in charge anyway? Isn't that kind of dangerous? Once you start talking about, I feel like I should be this way, so I'm just going to become that, that could be an excuse for anything. So, why is nobody thinking in terms of common sense anymore? Biologically, it doesn't work. And every time people like me, or high up people like Matt Walsh, or Brett Cooper, or all those people who do like the Daily Wire... All those people who, who bring those the arguments of biology and technicality and logistics and statistics, right? As soon as those arguments are brought to the table, it's responded to with just flat-out anger and denial. Any argument that existed prior to that is no longer an argument. So not only do people not use common sense anymore, we're angered by common sense. And that's just so weird, okay? So, going forward, I will be using common sense. And I will be doing my best to cognitively think about the natural biology of things. Like, the fact that I was born a dude, I will be a dude for the rest of my life. I could try and force that to change, but it would never work. I could never get pregnant. I could never breastfeed a child. <laughs> right? I mean, uh, uh, but, but, the, am I making any sense yet? The last thing, and the most important thing I'd like to touch on here, is a biblical worldview. A, a biblical perspective on this. Okay? See, I'm going to actually read from my Bible so you all know I'm not making this up. Homosexuality, Leviticus 18, 20, 
to do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That is detestable. Doesn't it not really get any clearer than that? Now, I know what some of you um, progressive Christians are about to tell me, and that's that the, the law was, uh, is, is the old code. It's the, the Old Testament. It doesn't, um, it was, uh, it, it's not prevalent anymore. Or the, 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 the most popular argument is, oh, that was, it was, it was a different culture. It was a different time in history. Of course, they had different rules and stipulations. Yeah, okay. Well, Jesus kind of said that he didn't come to abolish the law, but only to fulfill it. Okay, so if Jesus is fulfilling the law, that means he's fulfilling the law that says, do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That is detestable. If you start saying that the law is old code, that it's invalid because we've got, what, the New Testament? You're in some very dangerous territory. The New Testament is the fulfillment of the old. Old covenant, new covenant. There's a whole theological discussion we could get into there. And yes, there are some laws that were done away with, like the ones that completed purification. We don't need those laws anymore because we are made pure through Christ's blood on the cross. Okay? That's the line. It's not rocket science, okay? (laughs) It's not rocket science. Moving on. If a man lies with a man as one lies with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They must be put to death. Their blood must be on their own heads. The consequences of sin right there, you guys. And just to be very clear, the, the, the sin of hatred, the sin of lust, the sin of what murder are all deserving of death. The wages of sin is death, okay? I'm not pointing out or trying to highlight homosexuality as the worst sin. The reason that I'm stressing it so much is because the church is veering away from labeling it as a, at, labeling it as a sin at all. So obviously, if we're trying to address a sin that's starting to be discarded as a sin altogether, then we need to highlight it. And that's going to make it seem like it's worse than all the others, but sorry. That's kind of your fault. For saying it's not. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator who was forever praised. Amen. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way... Men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with, with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their perversion. People say that the Bible doesn't talk about homosexuality. Who is right there? It's right there. It's right there. How how is that not crystal clear? The Bible talks about homosexuality. It does. It really does. And I know to some people who might watch this, that might not matter. Okay, if you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in the Bible, that's your choice. I'm just I'm just saying it's not the right choice, okay? We as Christians want to offer you the choice to believe in the Bible, to accept the gift of eternal life and to repent of your sin and trust in Jesus for salvation, and I can tell you beyond the shadow of a doubt there is no more beautiful thing than that. There isn't 
And while we're here, the same goes for if you call yourself a Christian and you're a homosexual. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work like that, okay? The, 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 the Christian community has started to become so passive about homosexuality that now we're allowing fellow believers to believe that it's okay to be gay and Christian at the same time. You guys, that's the same as saying it's okay to be a thief and a murderer and an adulterer and a Christian at the same time. How is homosexuality the one sin that you can just get away with? As a believer, that's not how this works. When will we understand that? If you are LGBTQ+, you are going to hell. Nobody wants to hear that. I don't want to hear that. 1 Corinthians 6, 11. Uh, well, nor thieves nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And that is what some of you were. But you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Guys, I know what it's like to be terrified of going to hell. Christians don't talk about going to hell anymore. It's been completely desensitized. That is the devil's punch at desensitizing and, like, flowering up hell to make it something that it's not. Hell is eternal separation from God, which means eternally separated from Love and joy and peace and life itself. It is eternal torture. When we Christians get up at arms because fellow believers and unbelievers who are our friends and, and, and they are practicing a lifestyle of sin and not turning and repenting from it, that is what we are driving at. If someone does not tell you and warn you of the fire of hell, who's going to? We as believers have a responsibility to carry and proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. And in doing that, yeah, we're telling you to turn from your sin. The way I still have to turn from my sin, right? Just because one becomes a believer doesn't mean they become perfect. It means that we continue to be sanctified, to be changed, to become more like Jesus. That is the hope that we live for, you guys. Doesn't that sound so much better than living in icky, sticky, slimy sin? I hope it does. Ah, Among all the other things that could be said, that is the biblical worldview. That is the truth about homosexuality in the Christian community, in the unbelieving community. Y'all need Jesus. Just as much as I do. Okay? Just as much as I do. Be sure to subscribe. I will hopefully be posting more videos about stuff like this in the future. Be sure to leave this video a like, unless you didn't like it, and even then you should still leave a like. Leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Bart Samberly. You've been on the Bart Samberly Show. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.